Charles and Ones. Welcome back to another video. This is John and welcome to a journey. Now, a look at the sky. Holy smokes. Just beautiful. Let's look at the sun a little bit. Right above my shoulder. Hold on. There you go. Nice view. Okay, guys. Remember that you live right now in an environment where people don't like you. Something that's dimming your light is because you have people who are toxic in your life. And you have to really pray for them in order for God to reveal to you exactly uh, whether some of the people are going to stay, who's going to go, and all that. And you live, whoever is close to you, if they are toxic, they're dimming your light. Whether they're going to change or not, that's their issue. God, just you just pray to God and remember to always uh, ask Him to look after them and bring them to salvation salvation and repentance now remember this that all these people who mistreat you who try to who don't understand exactly what's going on in your life and why it bothers them so much it because the light that God put in you is stirring up their demons they have spiritual wounds that they're not they don't um, they haven't healed they never looked into it in order to look within and try to pray and so can let the blood of Christ wash their souls completely from all these wounds. And all these wounds makes them feel less in front of you. If they feel overshadowed. They feel overshadowed and they try they wonder, it's like, why is this happening? Why don't I like this guy? The, he, he, he wasn't like this before. Suddenly, when you start you started you've been since you've been activated by God something has changed something has changed and things are different you become a leader you become a leader you become strong and your strength exudes and radiates and people see it they see that glow that got the anointing has God put in you and they see you as a rock star and they don't a lot of some and if you get people's attention people are watching you even in the bus everywhere you go People are just trying. Here's what they do. Like this is repent that you're in the camera. You are that person, the anointed person, and I'm just sitting here, waiting for the bus to come, or just sitting there in the bus, and just slowly, just you know, something attracts my attention. I just go like that, and I just, I just look and look. I'm like what's? Why is this person like so different? Like they just can't get enough of you. And as soon as you look at them. You just try to make eye contact because you notice that they notice you. And uh, as soon as they do that, they just pull away again. And as some people see you, they glow. They're happy. They're like, oh, they, they give you discounts if you buy tickets or something. You, they give you different kinds of, I don't know, the two like bonuses here and there. They might give you like free food or whatever. It's just like whatever they can to get your attention. They smile at you. They, everybody wants to talk to you and just a little chit chat with you. And here's the thing, guys. That's the power you have in order to speak life and death. Or make sure you always speak life. I know that a lot of people out there who are watching you and they're connected to you that they don't like you. They're connected to you temporarily, of course. So don't worry about that. But they don't like you. And they try to just get your attention because they have, let's say, this... Uh, issues in their lives that's bringing down their personal life their personal light down and as they try to get your attention you know that's what they do they see that rock star in you and they think and they, they, they get a little bit of that light they get a little bit of that attention that's why they try to do it now guys remember that when you Eventually, God is going to remove these people out of your life because He's as He's building you spiritually, He's taking you to the next level. He's taking you, He's promoting you, He's elevating you, where you're going to have better relations. People who understand your vision, who understand your plans, and they're going to back you up. Okay? And uh, remember that when you leave these people's lives, and it's going to happen, it's going to happen, they're going to miss you then they're gonna realize because as they're gonna realize exactly who you really are and what's happening is that the God's grace was flowing from your life to theirs just like Joseph you know Joseph where he was uh, thrown in the pit by his brothers 
and then he was sold as a slave to the Ismailites and then he was taken to Egypt and then God pulled the situation out of him. God, whoever in Potiphar's life, Joseph was a true blessing that tried to, like he, God's grace flowed everything from Joseph's life to Potiphar's life, to everything he had. He had abundance, he had everything worked out for him. He says, like, I don't have to do anything. He just needs to do the work and I'll be fine. And then, when he was accused by part of his wife for seduction or, like, uh, he tried to have to rape her or whatever and all that, he was accused wrongly and he was put to jail for two years. And guess what? After these two years, he became prime minister of Egypt. Prime minister of Egypt. And then his blessings, thanks to him, two countries two kingdoms were saved the one was egypt and the other one was israel because the kingdom of israel the people of israel became through his bloodline through his bloodline and his brother's bloodline the 12 brothers so guys remember <laughs> that people are going to miss you as the anointing removes itself as god's as you remove your as god's removing you from their lives the people who wronged you and people who were against you try to benefit out of you for the selfish reasons or whatever you want to call it or for just small mindedness because they don't understand exactly what God is trying to do uh, they're gonna miss you because God is going to God's grace is going to be room from their lives and they're gonna have problems they're going to be attacked from all sides and as they try as they get frustrated and try to realize actually what's happening then they're going to realize exactly that the way they treated you removed them out of their lives and then God's grace removed itself out also. See? You see what's happening? There is a reason why God is, does these things also. He's using the chosen ones in order to bring people closer to Him and realize that without me, guys, God says to the, to the, to, to the whole world, says, without me, Nothing exists outside of me. Nothing exists out of the Holy Spirit. Okay? There's only void. There's death. There's non-existence. Remember this. I know a lot of you will get this. So I know that you're working. We are in difficult situations against neighbors, family members, relatives. You see people. And people who just try to finger point and show you exactly that you're wrong. But you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're highly favored. And God says you're doing great. This is what God says. Really. He says you're doing great. He says you're doing perfect. Keep up the good work. It doesn't matter what people say. Because people don't understand exactly who you are and why you're doing all these things. They question your every move. Even your parents might think like, why are you praying so much? Your loved ones. Why are you praying so much? This is ridiculous. The, the Christians are charlatans and all that. Like, uh, Excuse me, guys. Um, there is charlatanism in every religion, uh, every Christ, every path, I would say, and there's also charlatanism in the Christian churches, but also not all of them are like that. Not all of them are like that. You can't be absolute in your truth. That no, no, no truth is absolute. Like, everything is subjective, which means like you'll find good and evil everywhere, and people don't understand that. As uh, people, you'll find that a person. Are they truly good or bad? They have good and evil within them. God is trying to tell us also that He's going to cover you. He's protecting you and He will never leave you nor forsake you. He, uh, he's very serious about this. He's very... Uh, you're so important to Him. You are so important to Him. You are the front line of his forces in this world you're gonna help him and guy, guys really he needs you he desperately needs you make sure make sure you stay close to him and he's the almighty powerful God I mean align yourselves with him and everything's gonna turn out fine and people it's the only way to save as many people as possible that's our job to help as many people as possible so guys remember to always be focused on Him. Commune with Him. Okay, commune with the Holy Spirit. There is this book that I would like you to... Well, you don't have to buy it. You just Google it and it's easy to find. It's uh, called Good Morning Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn. Okay, commune with the Holy Spirit. 
you don't have to buy it. It's it's an old book. It's an old PDF. It's everybody has it. If you just write it down, Good Morning Holy Spirit by Benny Hinn. Uh, Benny Hinn is B E N N Y H I N N, and he has a lot of good things to say that gonna help you connect with the Holy Spirit. That's our communion right there. He's our guide, our counselor, and of course, I'm not saying neglect Jesus or the Lord Father and whoever is in you venerated in your Christian path whether that's a saint or not by all means but don't forget the Holy Spirit give some emphasis to him too because he's now with us okay and he's very very powerful very very powerful guys that's all I wanted to tell you like share, subscribe click the bell icon leave a comment guys don't forget to type this ministry I do have crypto uh, you can check in the video description. I do have, uh, I do take Western Union, I do take PayPal, and I have e transfer for USA and Canada. For those of you who live in Canada or USA, e transfer is the easiest way to do it. Uh, PayPal, and uh, guys, one thing I wanted to tell you is that those tithings, people are asking for help already, and I have to help them out, and I can't ignore it. I do to pray regardless. I pray for those who tithe and I pray for those who don't tithe and I pray for those who need assistance. Remember guys that God is helping me, is making me scan prophetically everybody who talks to me and I know exactly who's been sincere and who's not. It doesn't matter what people say to me. So I do scan everybody. I'm not saying that I'm a judge waiting to rebuke. No, just be sincere. Being sincere, guys. I'm just, I'm just here to help you out. And those who are not sincere, I still help them out. Because we need to learn to be honest. You know what I mean? And this will benefit you in the long run. Everybody hasn't learned the same way and as, others, as, as, as other people did. Some people learn to be honest and some people learn to not be honest. It's just, it's just a way to get things done. But you got to understand, by being honest, you're being close to God. And God also is honest with us. He will, he will confront us. He will convict if we do something wrong. That's, that's what you have to learn here, guys. Okay, I think I'm done. So, like, share, subscribe. Again, guys, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is still on the throne. And I'm always there for you in prayer. Always. Take care.